I think democracy means a fair playing field, a place where people can thrive and learn, uh, work, and be educated, uh, and enjoy the livelihood. I think over the last 20 years, Partners has done a tremendous job at going around the world, building centers, and developing the capacity. Uh, capacity to actually have democracy and they've done it in a sustainable way. As we go forward I think more and more we need to integrate the private sector, uh, government and the community and stakeholders. I think it's something that Partners has done very very well but in those areas of transition it becomes very complicated uh, and we found that there are setbacks uh, but I think the model that Partners had is something that has now become very vogue uh, and we're seeing, uh, we're, we're sort of uh, becoming very, very popular, particularly in places like uh, the Middle East. And the Arab Spring has created opportunities everywhere. But I think we need to be slow and steadfast and ensure that it is sustainable and we're making change that is incremental so that we can see the long-term benefits. Well, I think the biggest challenge with democracy is that there's a fundamental belief, particularly in new democracies, that economic development follows democracy. And in fact, uh, they don't necessarily coincide, particularly not at the same time frame. Uh, democ democracy needs to evolve, and it needs to have rule of law and transparency and governance issues. And oftentimes, as you transition, those things lag behind huge amounts of uh, financial investment comes in and the infrastructure isn't there. And so people quickly get very disappointed that what happened? Why don't I have a job? Why don't I have access to education? Why aren't I better off? And so it's really an iterative process that people have to learn that it does take time to believe uh, and getting those stakeholders engaged to understand that it's a long-term game.